Hello guys, so welcome back to my channel for 25 whole entire minutes of listening to me flap my lips. How exciting. Um, but I will definitely say this is going to be obviously a speed build and I never do a speed build. It is true. Um, but the reason for that is because Jennifer is so extremely indecisive it kind of it just it just pains me to watch myself but this time I feel like you know I paused why did I pause oh we're back at it okay anyways <laughs> this time I feel like I got my situation in order and I really wanted to show you guys kind of how I have grown in the speed build community sort of situation yeah okay all right sounds pretty easy right so basically what i wanted to create today was a yoga slash meditation studio it is called eight limbs yoga and meditation and you're probably wondering jennifer talk to me for a second girl how the hell did you come up with eight limbs yoga and meditation well you know what it's very easy i did google yes i did google for some inspiration uh and i don't know the first thing that popped up was eight limbs just the name and i thought it was different unique it standed out and it was just a little bit on the kooky side so i figured that was what we would name this studio i wanted to make one of these for quite a while now and just because, you know, sometimes it's nice to go to a place that's specifically destined for one thing and one thing only. And, well, I guess this is two things. So I guess I'm kind of, you know, <laughs> lying a little bit. But you get what I'm saying. It's, there's kind of a specific niche that this place is going for. So I wanted to have big, bold, luscious windows that when you're sitting there doing your downward dog or, you know, backwards turtle pose or whatever it's called, you can look out, out into the abyss. And I placed it downtown where the old gym was in Willow Creek and wow what a view you will definitely get when you're doing your yoga so um definitely a nice little location of course you can put this lot anywhere you don't need to have it where um I put it but hey I mean I'm just saying it looks pretty pretty good here so the shape of the building is definitely very traditional to what I go to I notice I go to a lot of squarish buildings it's very rare that you'll find anything probably out of that um context with me just because this is kind of like the way I started building, and I don't know, it doesn't seem to ever stray away far from that. But here we go. We are just kind of placing out the rooms. Obviously, with the double arches, that is where your yoga is going to be. And then we are doing a bathroom, his and hers, where I don't know how I'm going to fit everything in it, but I am definitely going to give it a whirl. Um, I'm not going to lie. There was a point in this speed build where I was very worried I was just going to have to scrap it. And I think at that point, we're hitting it about now. You're looking at this building and you're thinking, you know, girl, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to like this. I still don't know how I'm going to like this. Just looking at it, I'm like, girl, how are you going to turn this around? But I do. And the thing is, is if you suck at building, you suck. And you're like, God, really, though? I, this 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 hurts too much. I just need to stop. Don't stop. It's I realized um, building buildings. And this is this is coming from somebody who in my earlier videos, I used to always say, hey, I'm no Bob the Builder. <laughs> like, really, though, girl, no Bob the Builder at all. Now I can say I'm like you know, Betty the Builder. Like, I'm getting there. You know what I mean? I'm getting to Bob's status. But um, just, it's like, it's like a painting. You know, you have your sketch and then you go and you add color. And when you add the color, it's just so much more than what it was. You know what I mean? Um, it, I don't know, something about just kind of making it work, just going with it and tweaking it until you're content with it. Um, because I feel like there's no way to fail. I just don't. I feel like if you give up, then you fail. But there's really no way to fail when it comes to buildings. You just got to experiment, experiment, experiment until you get it right. Think of a Rubik's Cube. It's kind of like that. Um, and I feel like even though I was struggling so bad uh, and I was recording so the pressure was on, I wanted to kind of show you guys that if you persevere and you believe in yourself just a little bit, you can turn even the most hideous building into something gorgeous. And although you're still probably a little bit confused, um, just simply watching this video and looking at it going, I don't know what you think you're doing. Uh, trust me, I, I do believe it works out for the better. And my cat right now, he's lost his damn mind. What are you doing? Why are you acting so damn crazy? Okay, I'm the one who had the freaking two cups of coffee today. Not you, boo-boo, what you been doing? Sipping on some catnip? <laughs> some catnip tea? You want some? No. God damn. He's weird. <laughs> Anyways, um, as I was saying, just a side note, though, from a, uh, aside from this, you know, yoga studio thingy majigger, um, 
I'm getting a new mic set up. I'm so flippin' excited. Yes, I'm getting a whole new mic set up, and it's going to be a little more professional, <laughs> yeah? Uh, so hopefully, you know, you won't hear the, the background noises as much or, like, you know, the sometimes you can hear the banging um, when I'm like moving around on my desk, cause my desk, my desk, my desk is such an awkward shape that to be honest with you, it's just, I didn't know how it was going to work, but, um, I bought it. It's already on its way and I can't wait to get it. Um, hopefully just the quality, not that my voice quality sucks. It's just mostly the background noise or, um, the bumping into the desk, things like that. I just, I feel like I need to upgrade my, my mic just a little bit. I currently have the Blue Yeti. Um, I am getting the pod or the road podcaster. It's actually something it's, it's exactly the same mic that Deli, uh, Deli Grassi uses. And yes, I totally love the way how her voice sounds in her, in her videos. It's just very soothing. And I think that's just how she talks and I'm just obnoxious, but, <laughs> but I'm just saying it's a little more, um, less airy as the Blue Yeti is. And, um, it's a little more bassy and a little, I have a kind of a deeper voice anyway, um, so I feel like it would just match with my voice a little bit, just kind of switch it up a little bit, but I don't know. I am going to be selling my Blue Yeti for those who are interested. I actually sold my Blue Snowball when I was switching over. And the reason why I sell my mics is because I'm not going to have any use for them and it just kind of goes towards the cost of my new equipment. So it just helps, I guess. And I know I have, I posted this on Twitter and I've already got so many people interested. Um, but I don't know if I'm selling it yet. I gotta like the new mic first. So I'll just keep you guys updated. Follow me on Twitter if you're interested. Um, or even on Instagram, Instagram, X Urban Bella X. Oh my God. Gato. Eh. Oye, loco. Come here. Yeah. You. Mysterious kitty from the darkness. <laughs> He's so weird. He's like on a freaking trip. Anyway, I'm really excited to just to kind of, um, kind of beef up my channel a little bit. I really want to like, you know polish it so I think you know getting better equipment obviously is I mean there's always room for improvement right so here we are in the front and the front is starting to come together I actually really am starting to like it now it felt not so much as a community lot in the beginning and now it's starting to feel like one and and, the, and this little these little rods that come with the um spa day pack actually come in handy and you know I don't think this is what their intent was is to use almost as a trimming because there is a trimming but it's like yeah, that trimming there, I guess it could look the same there almost, but it's higher up. And I didn't really want one higher up. And you're going to see later when I add in um, some nice corner pieces, like some columns, how it all comes together and how it looks really good. And actually, these little pieces here that kind of go across like that, they do indeed save my culito time and time again throughout the build. So I wanted to kind of add in... Um, you know, water and, and cause I feel like water is so calming. I really do. I really, really do. It's just, it, you know, the waterfall and all that. So I really wanted to add that in, but we later switched that beast out and we put in something a little bit different. Cause I really wanted to kind of advocate that, that logo that I don't know what the hell it is, but it's like an O-ring. I don't know. Isn't that like a type of birth control? I don't know, girl, whatever. Just move on. So lots of windows in this build, lots and lots and lots of windows. And then I decided to go ahead and add in a, <laughs> add in a pond or kind of like a fountain in the back, but we ended up changing this too. And cause I needed a place for the meditation area. So if you don't like that, don't worry, it's not staying that way. Um, and of course, uh, you know, as we go through the build, you're just going to continue to see how this place takes shape. There's just so much, um, kind of experimenting that you'll see here and and it's good because you'll get ideas to see what looks good or you know maybe hey this didn't look so good and I tried this instead or vice versa and uh, that's why I really wanted to finally do um, a speed build so these see I boost these little beasts up I can put them anywhere I want in the wall and they just make this gorgeous like trimming that kind of just frames the lower half of the building and I'm like over it look at that see I know the beginning of the building, just because it was so flat like that, it had no shape, no dimension, no nothing. It just looked like honestly a blank sheet of paper. But with adding in these columns and these little beams, almost it, the architecture of the building almost takes on its own shape. And it's almost it takes on its own identity. And I love that just by playing with some of the items that aren't necessarily meant for that, it can really transform the look of your building. So with that said, you're going to need BBB, 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 B
just going to say it. You're going to need it. And here are some gorgeous lights uh, that I'm going to play with probably before I upload this. Well, I already uploaded it, didn't I? I think I did. Anyway, but you could actually change the color of those lights. I didn't. Um, in this one, I kept it just the normal ordinary ambiance lighting um, that it comes with. But you can play around and you can uh, change up the colors, maybe make them, you know, a certain type of like maybe like a orange is really nice or maybe like anything really. So here are these like, I don't know what they are. They're like paintings or whatever. But because I have move objects on, and yeah, I am out of breath. Um, I put them on the windows, kind of like, not flyers, but have you ever been to um, like a store and seen like these banner kind of things like that, I guess, like kind of like a banner, sort of. And uh, so here we are in the inside. And oh, there is one piece of CC that I guess I really got kind of inspired by. I've been planning this build for a while. I've been always wanting to build a yoga studio. But then when I saw these um, floor pieces that are like highly, highly, highly uh, mirror reflective, I was sold. And unfortunately, these don't work with the yoga mats but we figure it out because I have two types of reflective floorings that I use but just look at this pieces and I'll have these links down below if you're interested but because they work with furniture just not rugs some rugs um, like the yoga mats but look at how reflective they are in a second I'm going to put something on there see that it just mirrors back to you and it just kind of makes that space so elegante and so um modern and I don't know it just freaking kills me because whenever I was like a kid or I went to gym um in high school they would always have these floors that were so freaking shiny and um they would be mirror mirror reflective like that and it just reminded me of the studio and I don't know I just really really like those floorings and they are custom content so you don't have to have those in your game to be able to download the studio but you are when you do search for this uh, when you look for the eight limbs make sure that you have include custom content uh, checked in the advanced section on the gallery otherwise you won't see it so many people struggle finding my <laughs> creations because they're like they don't check the, the include custom content i love content custom content and so a lot of my creations have that so if you're having an issue trying to find something that could be very well the reason why so i decided to get rid of that freaking fountain and decided to put in the um kind of like the symbol or whatever of the of the yoga studio out there in the front in the fountain area so there we go we're kind of still working on the um see there you go there I realized oh my god these yoga mats are not gonna work oh what do I do now I'm like crying inside and then I'm just like eh, well let me just go ahead and come back to it so I decided to put in some more cute like things I put an incense holder in there so like when you're doing your yoga or what have you um you'll get a nice little mood lit from using the the yoga thing but so I decided to go in with these praline sims reflect ref oh, girl almost slipped reflective no nope, did it again reflective flooring but it works with the yoga mats. However, it doesn't have that mirror-like finish that I love. So that kind of sucks. And it's an actual floor, which is good, as the other ones are kind of things that you put on top of the floorings. The floorings. The flooring. The flooring. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But anyway, I ended up liking the two-toned um, floor anyway because I have two-toned walls. And throughout the build, you're going to notice a whole lot of just me messing around with a whole bunch of type types of wood. And I love how... The light comes from the back of the room pushing forward and it just kind of beams off the reflective parts of the floor and it just looks so oh, freaking awesome. Like I love reflective floorings. I used to use them so much in my, oh, hold on, in my Sims 3 builds, like a lot. So I had to go ahead and actually add in a floor up here, which I don't know if you want to get crafty, creative or what have you. You probably could actually make that into something um, a little more useful instead of just this blank space taylor swift <laughs> that's your cue um but yeah so i just decided to make it blank i don't know if you could actually fit stairs anywhere um at all but it, there's no purpose i just didn't want the bathroom to have like a really high ceiling so that's why i kind of blocked it off and honestly i wanted the windows to peer into the yoga room so Again, that's why I had that. So we're going to move on to, I do believe we're going to move on to the bathrooms here in just a second. I actually have some stuff placed out in the other part of the unfinished building because those are things that we're going to be using hopefully throughout this build. And with the bathroom, I didn't know what to do. I actually went with something very, very, very freaking ugly in my personal opinion at first. And then I decided to go ahead and kind of branch out a little bit. And I'm like, okay, you know, all right, well, 
this doesn't look bad. So I put in these tile floors and I'm just kind of placing things, trying to figure out how I'm gonna make this work. Now, I don't know if I necessarily need to block off the showers, but I did anyways just for added privacy and made them look like little shower stalls because really who wants to feel like someone's staring at their hoo-ha while they're giving it a scrub? You know what I mean? Like, no. So I did that. And then I actually put in the lockers so that your sense can change um, in that little space there right there. Ah, what am I doing? Hold on guys. Okay. My computer like shut down because I, I don't know, cause I wasn't touching the, the mouse. But anyways, so yeah, they're, they're going to be similar, very identical. Um, the bathroom's his and hers, but the girls just get a little more stuff inside because ladies just require more. Actually, that's probably not necessarily true. I've met a lot of guys in my time that have probably took in longer in the bathroom than I did. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead and put in some bathroom stalls. They only get one toilet in the bathroom. And as you can see, that's just simply because of how limited, how limited on space that we are. And you wouldn't think that because we have so much stuff. But now with this body and the lockers and just other things that you can kind of add in there, um, that is the reason why. Did I actually get to put two bathrooms? No. But I'm using these uh, light-up mirrors that are freaking gorgeous. They are, like, seriously my new obsession. And I'm putting them back there, too, because they kind of light up from the back. Added in some of these lighting rails. Because, again, the whole point of the studio is to have very low ambient lighting think relaxing so I actually used the uh sink that has like this little swoop effect and then just a regular counter and I loved I mean I loved the way that it looked it just looked so different I was like shocked that I even came up with that in my head I'm telling you like it was definitely an whoa girl you, you might be onto something moment so are we already under the men's bathroom yeah, we already are into the men's bathroom. Very simple, very easy. It's still cute. I'm not going to lie. Um, and I really like the way that it looks, too. It just kind of, it's just a smaller version of the girls' bathroom. The girls' room. Who remembers that? Because if you do, you are like a 90s baby like me. Well, I'm not really a 90s baby. I was born in 89, but I really did grow up in the 90s. Like, the whole entire 90s, not just like two years or whatever. So, yeah, I am a 90s baby. But anyway, so we actually finally got it together and we put a little um, patch of grass outside um, next to the water. And that is going to be where our yoga meditation area is. And um, I think I decided to actually come back to that for whatever reason. And you're going to notice a little bit of blurriness here when the it's just, oh, my God, I hate that. But for some reason, it's because I forgot to fix it in Sony Vegas. So... <laughs> excuse it just I hate when it does this I don't like it it's like all blurry oh it's like motion uh blur yeah that's what it is basically so anyway I don't know if it's throughout the whole video for the rest of the video but if it is just ignore but uh we're gonna go ahead and actually separate this part here and we're gonna make it like a library not library lobby 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 hobby lobby and we're gonna also kind of section it off so like you go into the lobby or whatever like a normal like place and then um in the second half you're gonna have like the um kind of juice bar area where you can go and relax and mingle with all the singles who are getting their stretch on or you could go hit up the yoga studio and then I do think there's access to the girls bathroom on that side now obviously I wanted to take advantage of that freaking show it um brain fart uh aquarium yeah hello welcome back Jen <laughs> Welcome back, girl. Hello. Um, yeah, so sweet, 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 sweet uh, aquarium wanted to use that. And so I put that there. And then I'm just playing around with a lot of stuff. I guess that's probably half of this freaking, uh, half of this speed build is just me playing around and having fun. But I do love it. Um, and I really am proud of myself to see how far I've come in so many ways. And we hate those bushes. But again, just kind of experimenting a little bit. Wanted to put some more lights out there. And you're going to see me always flipping back from dark to light. I just want to make sure that everything looks good because for me, the lighting is one of my focal points in the Sims 4 builds that I create. I love lighting. I feel like lighting can really set the mood. It can almost give the building its own personality just by the lighting. And I feel like, you know, different things look different in different lights, right? So um, I always flip back and forth and making sure the lighting is right. Now in my game, I like dimmer lighting. Now I know if I was doing like a let's play or whatever, that probably isn't for you. Or if you can't see well, like seriously, I'm not being a smart ass. I'm serious. Um, then you probably would want to maybe add, ah, add in some more lights. Now the only place that you're going to notice is that's going to have more of a brighter light is going to be the lobby where you 
quote unquote check in for your appointment. Um, so obviously I created the little desk area there and I do have a machine out in the lobby where you can purchase like I think I think you can purchase. I don't know if it's actually functional or not, but I think you could purchase some water or something. What are you doing? What is wrong with you? fudge you had to be my cat like you're just bonkers so here we are just setting up the lobby and I wanted to have a space for sitting and I don't know if I ever actually accomplished that or not um now that I'm looking back and I can't really remember but I love these little dividers that have this um that have this these like different lengths or different heights of candles they're so freaking gorgeous and I like to flip them so they kind of swoop up and then swoop down almost like a wave and I put them really far back into the wall and I actually I think I ended up successfully figuring out a seating arrangement because you can actually just go around to the right of the of the desk or whatever and then I was like well what if I just take out one of the doors and then that just was not flying for me at all um but I feel like when you have a lobby you usually have sitting you know, if you have to wait or whatever. So I was just playing around. I'm like, I needed to add more plants and things of that sort. So I'm just kind of screwing around a little bit more with the lobby, but I'm actually just about finished with it. And I do like the way that it turned out. Um, so one of my favorite parts is definitely the yoga studio. And then we've got like this juice bar area, which is really nice touch. Um, I added in and columns because I just loved how it kind of gave more dimension to the wall and then I really wanted to put in a tv there but again I always struggle so hard with being able to uh get into the unlocked unlocked objects so I just was like whatever and I decided to kind of accompany these um I think it was like a freaking egg with a plant in it I love it though I love it I don't know why I'm still struggling with this I don't even think we ever ended up using this Thing. I think we actually no I did I did end up using it and I'll tell you well I'll show you where in just a minute but yeah I like this little rock guy too because he's very zen so I put him out there kind of looks like a pitote but we're not judging and I decided to put a fence up there because I don't want any casualties or anybody suing me <gasps> mm -hmm. for being a little clumsy and falling off into the water but again incense to relax while you're doing your yoga and meditation so we have incense throughout the building and I decided to actually kind of switch it up and use these little uh, yoga thingies or meditation blocks, I guess. And um, yeah, put a little pathway out there too so your feet don't get dirty. But you know what I'm saying. So uh, anyway, yeah, I did actually use those mirrors again. And I do encom uh, I do acquire, no, wait, what's, what's, what am I trying to say? I do incorporate that guy in there. Um, and, and you're going to think, well, when do you do that? Because, yeah, that's not where it actually ends up going. Um, so I moved the little juice rack thing over to the wall because I needed a spot. And then I decided to put the fountain in front of the illuminated mirrors. And then I had the uh, kind of columns on either side. And I thought it looked really, really nice. And so I wanted to put a little sitting area because, you know, you work up a sweater. You get kind of tired and you just want to relax and maybe chat with your girlfriend, a boyfriend, or whoever, your husband, your ex-husband, your future ex-husband. Whatever the situation is, you could just go sit there and dilly-dally and chit-chat. Uh, put in this beautiful vase and I uh, was going to do candles and I sat here and just edited the crap out of them went through all the trouble picking colors and decided that no not doing it not feeling it period point blank at all and so I decided to actually get rid of those I think did I did I did I though yes I did and I deleted the whole damn table too because I'm a I'm a special girl you know what I mean <laughs> what did I actually put in there um it's kind of bothering me uh did I actually put this light this illuminated did I? Okay, so I put in the mirror, the semi-mirrored floors in this too. Yeah, I did. Because it kind of has a little bit of illumination glow to it, but not really. And then I, I'm so adamant I'm using that freaking um, egg thing, but I don't think I ended up using it. I actually end up leaving that wall kind of bare just because. And then uh, let's see, what else do I do? I think that's it. Is that it? Why does that feel like it shouldn't be it though? I don't know. We're getting kind of close to the end of the video, so it's making me worry. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of finishing up the final details. I was actually going to add in a little massage chair, but then I'm like, mm, no, Jen, you really do need to you really need to stick to what you uh, what your original game plan was, even though you <laughs> really want to like fill in some dead space there. But I didn't. And uh, so I finally start kind of conforming. Actually, you know what? Those don't look that bad. If, if I would have went with just one, I think it would have looked pretty nice. And did I? I think I did. I did. I'm pretty sure that I actually ended up leaving that there. I'm not exactly sure, though. And I don't ever think I put anything on the little table there either. That's kind of weird. Huh. 
think I just kind of leave everything as it is. Oh, I lined the floors with this. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and I even did it in the yoga room. Yep, looks pretty nice. So those will give you a little bit of a definition between the semi-gloss, high-glossy floors and also illuminate the area for any little klutzy sims that you may have. So with that said, I think that is a wrap. I hope you all enjoyed and here are some pictures. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe and let me know what you all think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.